Hello. This is a quick overview of Histomics TK uh, annotation gallery feature. This is a feature that takes a girder folder uh, that contains a bunch of slides, each of which has annotations that are done by uh, a user. And then it tiles these annotations. Uh, we assume that the annotations are within special regions of interest, right? As, and we just call it ROI for short. So there are different ROIs that people annotate, and we want to tile these um, in, in sort of a mosaic or a display gallery uh, for, for a pathologist to review or for the person themselves to uh, take a look. So let's take a look. So here's a uh, folder that we have. Here's two slides, and each slide has uh, a number of annotations. You can see this one has 11 annotation documents and each containing many, many polygons, and uh, this one has 18. So let's open one here. Um, and let us view the annotations. So we click on this I. All right. So let's zoom in. When you take a look here, you will notice that uh, these rectangles are region of interest annotations. Let's turn on the labels. This, these are, uh, we call it the FOV, or field of view, or region of interest, whatever you want. And then people have placed a bunch of uh, rectangles on nuclei um, you know, of various classes. So we have a bunch of these in this slide, and then we can move on to the next slide. And you, know, you can see a bunch of other uh, ROIs. Um, so you can see where this becomes difficult for you to zoom in, and then move around, and then zoom out. And then if you have like 80 or, or 100 slides, it just becomes uh, difficult to uh, quickly take a look at everything uh, and review it. Uh, so that's what the annotation gallery feature is for. So after running the code uh, that is uh, in the annotation gallery feature, we end up with something that looks like this, which is another, uh, basically everything in the folder that we took a look at for in these two slides tiled into this array. Um, and, and if we open one of these, and we make sure we view the annotations like this, uh, you will see that uh, what this shows is an image with the annotations on, including uh, labels uh, that are automatically displayed for very quick bird's eye view. Uh, in um, and then beside it is the RGB image at the high magnification, and then beside it is a low magnification representation of where the field of view comes from. So the idea is that the pathologist doesn't have to zoom around. They immediately see uh, the low resolution representation, the uh, high resolution representation with and without annotations. They don't, have, they don't have to click anything. And then if they like it, uh, they can actually say so uh, directly here. So here's how uh, the, the pathologist can say that they like a particular field of view. Uh, they just click in here and uh, click on any of the annotations. And then you click on the gear icon and they import uh, the styles uh, that uh, indicate whether they like or dislike particular annotations. So uh, just tell them to, to make sure they click the this box to make sure they import and replace the styles that they already have. And then we have a style uh, JSON file, of course, anyone can make their own styles and export them, and then you import them, as you see here. Uh, we have three styles, bad, good, needs work. Uh, let's just get rid of the default. So bad, good, or needs work. So uh, you can choose whatever styles you want, uh, and you know you can create the styles here and click export to create your own JSON files. Um, so anyways, we give the pathologist there's uh, this list of styles, and then they click Save. And now, if the pathologist likes this, they right-click, and they say, it's good. There you go. And then, let's say, this one needs more work, and this one is bad, this one is good, and so on. You can see they, they can quickly move uh, and and get, get the fields of view reviewed. Uh, here, just for the demo, I, I chose to have two per uh, two fields of view per um, um, row, and maybe I think here there is five per column, but uh, for the real scenarios, I, I have maybe usually like uh, 25 per uh, column, so um, a lot longer so that they can just uh, you know pan around. 
And let's say this is insufficient and the pathologist really needs more context, they, they want to pan around the slide and so on. What they can do is they can right click and they edit. Of course, they have to be given edit permissions on this. Uh, and then there's a label here that points to the exact location of that field of view in the original slide. So they triple click on this and then go to whatever that. So of course, this needs to be in Chrome. And then when you show the annotations, you can see that exact field of view. Let's go back here. Here. See this field of view with the box with the black box in the middle? Right here. So it's center in the screen so that the pathologist can take a look. And since this is in the original slide, they can zoom in, they can zoom out, they can uh, if they have permission, they can also edit the individual uh, annotations uh, and, and boxes, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, of course, after you change the label, if you click edit, you won't be able to see the link. Uh, but that's why this uh, small checkbox is here. So you can click on it. Sorry, click on it and then edit. And now you can also see the link in, uh, in that annotation even after the pathologist has approved or uh, disapproved it. Uh, so there you go, a very quick way to review. And of course, uh, there could be multiple galleries from the same folder. This is, you know, the gallery number two. And, you know, people can just pan around and, and, uh, uh, and review things. Uh, so thank you and uh, hope this was helpful.